to Grants also. So we got to get a move on. And joining me on the mic. Hey, yo, what's good? It's hey, Hangman. Man. Hangman blowing today for the Arcadian because it's a whole lot of fun. Uh -huh. Look, you see teams that don't operate often. We see players that, you know, allegedly exist. <laughs> but hey, at least we got good doubles play. Very good, good doubles play, as you say yourself. Rage Baron, but whatever. <laughs> so, like, no Jay, I've never actually seen play up until today. But her Robin is pretty well refined. And Definitely, yeah. Like, she has a very good idea of how to lead the charge with Robin. At least in dubs, I feel like Robin's a really good initiator because Robin just gets to swing big hitboxes. Definitely. Levin Sword is really good at um, swinging around through the air. Has very good hitboxes compared to the Bronze Sword. One thing I do want to bring up, though, is the, the team of Pikachu and Snake is something we don't get a chance to see too often outside of, like, the upper echelon. So it's really nice to see it working so well here at home. Yep. And these two, uh, the blue team is really good in, syner in synergy and covering each other and also keeping their stocks alive and... Okay, that Uptos is almost going to take it. I feel like with all, like, all four of the characters that are on board, there's no struggle to kill and there's going to be a lot of, like... Like residual damage, like people are just going to get hit by things. Even yeah. if it's like working out as far as team combos are concerned from either blue or yellow team. Or like people are just caught in the crossfire of their own teammates. Carnage. Yeah, like we have arc fire that's going to hit a lot of people, especially when you don't tend to hit the person that's aiming for. Grenades exploding when you don't expect them to. There's just too much going on. C4 is on the floor. Good death attack from Tony. Like, it's a whole lot of chaos, so you gotta give credit to both teams when it comes time to actually, like, buckle down and focus a play. And I feel like Blue Team has been showcasing that really well throughout the entirety of Doubles Bracket. Oh, so like, just imagine being in the shoes of Pikachu in this instance. Not that instance when you get hit. Nope. But, like, no, don't look at that. he's had to navigate so much nonsense just to be able to get into position to either get his own combos going or save Tony. And in terms of what I've seen so far, not, not, not a lot of teams were able to um, game Tony and, or to keep him at disadvantage except one team. But uh, like you said, Mr. L will also be able to um, cover him for that. Like that. Woo! Love the awareness. And Tony even able to pick off the kill on Mitch. And quickly on right. You know, normally in dubs, like... At this point of the match, you get a clear idea of like who's got control, whether it be stage or just in general the momentum. You really can't say that for certain here. We might see the 2v1 pretty quickly given how high of a percentage Tony is. And that's exactly that's what we're going to see. But like, you need the 2v1 in order to have like a determinate factor as to which team is really in charge. That's it, yep. Oh, trying to get that match was actually going to hold steel, which leads to a lot of lag after you drop it. Alright, good way of maneuver around the... Ugh. That was weird. Yeah, that was just a weird interaction. All right, Pikachu is actually gonna um, thunder crouch over that. Is that it? Mm -hmm. No. Ooh, that was weird. Di kept the straw alive. What's the play up there catching? And that's game one to. Uh, what are they calling themselves? Utopian Milk was oh, what I heard. Milk Ray. Milk Ray. That's Milk Ray. much better. That's, that's actually nice. <laughs> Utopian Che is pretty good. Both of them are good, actually. Yeah, it's the best of three, my guy. When you got almost a 160-person bracket for uh, singles, yeah, you gotta have. You gotta move, team. man. We got places to be, and it's not Zeno like past midnight. Yeah, man, it's not Christmas Day when we're doing nothing. We're actually doing something. That's facts. Yeah, Mill Chase in the spirit of the holidays right now with the Santa hat, and it's real. This might be worth a celebration because they're, they're one game away to heading to Grants and having that run back against Purity and Ace Attorney. Well, they gotta get there first, but Snake and Pikachu is not a team that makes it easy, especially on a stage like Town and City. A lot of room for both of these characters to maneuver. They don't particularly struggle to cover all of the white space, and it also helps them with surviving a little bit longer, which I feel like that might help them in the grand swing of things because, like, I felt like Milchay and Ray really didn't struggle at all when it came to like time to get the kill, just because damage built up so quickly on both sides. Definitely, and he's also well aware of um, how the hitboxes work for uh, Robin. 
like we saw earlier just now is that um, Milk, Milk Tea just multi-jabbed and then Ray was able to follow up with that consistently. Like that's why I wanted to bring up earlier about how Robin's such a good initiator because typically like Polly wants to come in once someone presses a button or something is happening in general. Yeah. So like Polysols are great for either keeping out uh, the supporting teammate of whoever's getting comboed or to continue to continue some sort of chain. Great stuff from Ray taking the first stop, but I did like to point out that um, Tony earlier dropped throw a grenade against uh, on Robin and was able to negate the ledge trap that was on Mr. L. And thanks to that, Mr. L is still here. And Tony's had a very good control over what explosives he's go got going on at the field at one time. And I especially like how often he's resetting his usage of C4. That way he always has it available to him if it's necessary for a recovery. Right now, Robin's out of the elf wins. Yeah, thankfully, that spell recovers very quickly, so Yellow Team's not too struggling if uh, Milche finds herself off stage. Like now. Alright, Ray with the Explosive Flame trying to cover up, make Snake shield, and is able to come back on stage. He was aware that he was going to jump right there. Yeah, Tony was trying to place the Explosive um, right in position for where Ray would like get the ledge cancel. She's really smart on his half, but also Ray with good reaction time had his good DI. Unfortunately, nothing, no good DI is going to be able to save this match. Definitely not. Ashley DIing in from the down throw. <laughs> Yo, into the, <laughs> the cipher. cipher. <laughs> Get that extra damage where you can. Back throws, definitely going to take it. I don't care how heavy you are, man. <laughs> nah, that's pretty safe. He tried to go for the upper to get the, um, an early spike. I respect. Yeah, both Pikachu and Pichu have that kind of thing. Good coverage from Ray right oh, there. Beautiful. Sharking uh, Mr. L with that Nair. Yeah, that was my shit. The yellow team in general doing a really good job of holding on to their stocks, keeping their stage presence. It's giving them a bit of the edge. I'm surprised too because I feel like Blue Team picked into a fine stage. But like. Yeah. That fair is actually surprised I'm not going to take it yet. Back throw, very quick. Just get out. This attack from Palu is so good in doubles. It's way too good, man. Because, like, in doubles, you're always seeing people jumping a lot. Like, yeah. No and, matter and landing what with a hitbox, especially. So, like, the idea of being able to contest any move and then also just clear the field without committing to a jump, which is probably one of the more glaring of flaws Palu has as a character. And also resetting their disadvantage. Like, it's, it's so... There's so many reasons it's good. All right. Ray's actually going to land with an air dodge, but uh, Mr. L is just going to up smash on the landing. Milk Cheese out. Back throw? No. I like going just for the pummels, though. Make sure he has the damage. Doesn't commit too hard to something that might not kill. Because even though Pikachu's kind of light, like, he's not that light. All right, trying to hit him with that Nair on Ooh. the landing. Oh, this is a bad situation, but uh, Mr. L's going to actually cover that with a back air. Nikita. Nikita on high, dropping down. Actually... Backfiring horribly for Blue that Team. That was really a bad situation. Back throw. Quick Yagit into oh! the... <laughs> Alright. Yo. What, what would you call that? It's I not stretcher. No, nah, I call that Amazon Prime shipping just in time for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Christmas delivered, yo. Alright, we got grand finals set up. That was really unfortunate. <laughs> Alright. Well played on both teams' halves, but I feel like... Momentum swung too fast in favor of Ray and Milche. Definitely. So he, like, like, he was so ready for that platform and was ready to react whatever option that I'm telling you, that was, was all reactions. Pick. There's that no was way he knew reaction. that. This